what we have to do now is to I'm gonna have to look at the the instructions for reassembling this thing but I believe that we begin by taking this part facing down and we had to plug it in here so this I think is the first uh, I believe is the first step on this thing so you have to do this very carefully this this these connectors are actually extremely fragile this is actually the one that carries our wire the one that we just fixed so we're gonna uh, try to align this connector and then just gently push it and it will it will go in and now is the time for this other one so you just nicely they snap in and hopefully the soldering would stay in place there so right now I got this thing All right I think now I got it where this rubber part goes it actually if you look this this connector this connector and nothing here is uh, that's where the rubber part goes and the reason for it is that here there is this connector that plugs into this guy this guy plugs there right when you put this thing in here so when you press this guy here it turns out that if you don't have this you will fall we will bend the board down so the reason for that rubber to be sitting underneath here is to, to, to provide support when you press and you snap in this connector so what we're going to do is now we can now proceed to put this thing in there so it is nice to know that where this part goes that's one of the rubber pieces that everybody wonders where it goes so it goes there actually so you get this a connector here connector here no rubber piece here there's something a thin wire rubber here but it's stuck in there it didn't come off so this one i just found out by looking at some information so let's now redo this thing placing this back into place so the first thing to do is to push this guy down there and then slide that in there gently like that watch out with this part and then um, then carefully push it in like that and remember when you get near the end you have to lift lift this end a little bit so you will engage here and here right now we have to do that so and try to do that from that point the connector and then finally it gets in there is two pins here and here so that tells you when this part is in place so right now uh, when we when we are ready to do that there is plastic underneath holding the this thing to provide support so now uh, there was one screw here which i have it in my layout number four is this one here which you used to go here in this point but before we put it we're gonna put this other rubber piece that also likes to come off the one in the microphone so it goes right here so i'm gonna open this a little bit try to sneak this part in there it's a little bit difficult to do but you can actually do that if you just push it a little bit there and then pull it slightly out of it and then it engages so that's actually a sound pipe to carry the sound to the microphone now it's, it's good so we are there now we can put oh i just uh, remove this thing again so i'm gonna have to slide it in again there so now it's very easy to slide in and out apparently now it's maybe that's a good sign so now we will take this screw number f the last one that we took out and it was it will be the first one that will go in and it goes there so it's gonna be once this screw is in place things are not supposed to move very much it's gonna help us help us putting this together 
So there it is. Now it's tight. And now we are supposed to do connectors again. So our first guy to go in will be first connector that goes is uh, this one, which was the the last one we took out. Now this one is no longer needed. We're gonna have to go bring in page number three. And remember, we took out con this connector last, then this one, and this one. The first one we took out was this one. The last one was that. And we also took these two. So I'm gonna put this connector first, which is uh, is right here. This guy. So now it's where presumably we are using that. There it is. It easily goes in. So really does help to have that rubber piece in there. And now we're gonna put. The other one that we took out was this, which is a digitizer connector in there. So that one is a little difficult. So I'm gonna do, there it is. You line it up and then you just uh, apply some pressure and they snap in really nicely. Hopefully we will see something working in this phone. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but it's fun. It's been fun so far. Now we have to do this connector right here, which is this, and this coax cable connector in there. But before we do that, I think we should we should um, before we put this this coax connector in there. I think this part is supposed to go in place. So now is where where. I'm going to do, okay, here's the volume control, no, it's already in, that was also, I put just the volume control, this part of the, the flex that contains the volume controls, it's already in place, and now I'm going to have to do this carefully, by sliding in there, so I carefully locate the metal piece right in between so there it is you have to push it in a little bit and then so this thing to come out you have to push it in a little bit this way and then it, it will disengage from this so now it's, it's already in place as you can see it's a little this seems to be that is not uh, totally in place yet because this is a little like too long it's like as if this is not in place but I don't see any other way to put these things. So before we put any screws, we are gonna have to do this coax cable here. Let's put the the coax. Coax is it's a very small connector, so we're gonna first line it up on top, right here. Use your pliers, and then. It snaps in, but uh, we're gonna push it to make sure it's, it's well. It's just, it doesn't come off anymore. So I think it's already in place. In, and then there is this sensor, which is located in this small flex connection, which goes here. So I'm gonna just do this guy now. There it is, it just goes in. So it's a little strange. Seems like it got stretched a little bit. I swear I didn't do anything to it. So now it's the volume control. Volume control should up go up, and down, minus go down. That's supposedly a universal rule. Okay, I see apparently there's a little gap here. So we're gonna have to yeah, sneak it in there. Yeah, there it is. So it seems to have it's in there, it's in place. Now. So volume control is in there, and now we have this pl plastic part on the bottom that has the vibrating the motor. So let's remove the tape in there. And there are no other screws in here, so only only 
only this. So this one, remember this was on the bottom part here and it was sort of grabbing, grabbing the board with this, uh, with this um, ends here. All right, let's see if it does fit in here. So the matter sits in this cavity right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put it first like it's gonna go like like this like that and then maybe we just need to yeah that's that's ah maybe did we forget a, a screw oh no we didn't because yeah we said that there is no screws in number three see number three no screws so that is how these little pages work but number two we do have we have some screws so the orientation this thing here is this there so we get now a long screw here another screw there and this short screw it goes if you remember it goes in this place not in the golden patch in this tiny place in it so let's put that tiny screw in here we have to be careful not to lose them now by trying to remove them from the, under the tape. So always be careful here in this stage. You don't want to lose something that you manage not to lose after all this work. So now let's put that, that little screw. It's really small. It fits nicely. There. So this seems really seems to have had have got maybe got stretched from pulling it so much. So you maybe had to cut a piece out of it. It's a bit too long. So now this screw is going to go it's going to go here. And this one remember is a torque the star the little star shaped screw. So see it's T S there. So let's put this thing in there. Mm, many turns, but it does seem to have an end. So now let's get the last one from series two. This one goes there. It's Phillips screw. Phillips, Phillips screw. Mm. Yeah, this one, this plastic part was not snapped in all the way. But now it's, here's a trackball. So I'm going to tighten this guy a bit in case that it wasn't tight. Yeah, it is tight. So this one is not tight. And that guy is now tight. Very good. 